Hey everybody, welcome to Titans of CNC Academy. My name is Billy Boyce. Right now I'm going to take you through modeling a part from our chess series, and that will be the Queen 12. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up to File, choose New Design. I'm going to go to Sketch and choose Line. I'm going to pick our front plane here. And I'm going to just select right there in the center and I'm going to drag up. That's a distance of 3.5. I'm going to press enter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on this dimension and drag it over to the right. Okay, because I'm going to be working mostly on the left side here for this revolve. Now I want to draw another line. I'm going to go right to that point and I'm going to drag over to the left. And that's a distance of 0 0.7, 43, enter. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure this line is always vertical. So I'm going to come over here to horizontal vertical. I'm going to click it, and now I'll click that line. And you'll see that little symbol show up. That means we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and try this one here too, just to keep it in line. Okay, now we're going to start uh, drawing some, some lines and adding dimensions. So I'm just going to press L for line. And I'm going to kind of just roughly sketch out this shape right here. And now I'll kind of constrain and add some dimensions. I'm going to make sure that um, this line here and this line here are uh, collinear with each other. So I'm just going to come over here to collinear, select it, and I'm going to select these two. Now these two are kind of locked into each other. <clears throat> so now I'll uh, add some dimensions. I'm going to press D for dimension. I'm going to choose our start point and this end point. And that's a dimension of point zero eighty four. Enter. And again I'm going to go I'm going to keep going from that point as often as I can. 0 0.133, 0 0.182. Now I can do this to this one. That is 0 0.694. Enter. I'll go from this point to this point. It's going to be 0.595. Enter. And now I'm going to sketch a couple, maybe two more lines. So I'm going to press L. I'm going to sketch from here, here, and something like that. So now I'm going to add a dimension. So I'm going to press D on the keyboard. I'll go from here to here. 0.283. Go from here to here. 1.246, enter. Go from here to here. That is 0.175, enter. I'm going to go from here to here. And that is 2.086, enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, press L for line. And I'm going to do a few more little quick sketches here. So I'm just going to kind of sketch out that, that notch out section there at the top. And it could be just kind of rough. We're going to add the dimensions so that'll get everything where we want it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is do this vertical 2.1. Enter here to here, 2.261, enter, two point three three six, enter. Now I'm going to do a few of these dimensions here. Point six six zero. Oh. Enter. Do this one here. Point 
585, enter. And what I'll do now is I'll go to collinear again, go ahead and select that, and I'll choose this line and this line, and then I'll just straighten this out. Now I'm going to add some more dimensions by pressing D, and we're going to do this in dimension here. And that was 0.175. Enter. And we're starting to look pretty good. So now we're going to get into some of the curves of the crown here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to choose arc, and I'm going to say three-point arc. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click somewhere over here, and I'm going to kind of just bow it out. Now I'm going to add some dimensions to this end point here. So I'm going to press D, go from there to here, and I can see that is 537, point 537. Enter. Now we'll do a vertical dimension. That is 2.8. 53 enter and now we can add the radius of 0.959 enter look good so we're going to do that again we'll go to sketch arc three point arc now I'm going to arc it the other way so I'm going to go here and then I'm just going to do something like this I don't want any kind of snapping to happen because then it'll lock in my dimensions or lock us out of putting dimensions in. So we'll just go ahead and click it right there. Now we're going to press D for dimension. Choose our center line and our endpoint. That dimension is 0.743. Enter. Now we'll do our vertical dimension 2.959. Eighty-eight. Enter. And then we'll add our fillet or our radius dimension. Point two zero three. Enter. And now we'll go ahead and press line or L for line. Do one from right here and just go straight up. D for dimension. Let's go from this end to here and get our vertical dimension of. 3.084 enter and now we're going to do uh, some more arcs so we'll go sketch arc three point arc go here here and just kind of drag it out now we'll add dimensions so d for dimension go from that point to our center line we can see that is 0.424 enter Go from that point to our center point. That looks like it is 2.894. Enter. Go ahead and add our radius dimension, 0.349. Enter. Now we're going to do another one. We'll go arc, three point, here, here, and just kind of bow it out. Go D for dimension, there to there. 0.249, enter. From that point to here, 2.889, enter. And we look good. Now we're going to go ahead and go to sketch circle, center diameter circle. I'm going to hover over this line here. I'm just going to click and drag it out. And I'm going to just touch the tip there, touch the, uh, the end of our line. And it'll snap. And then I'll just click. I'll press D for dimension. And it is a 3.8, so 0.3750 enter and now we're just going to draw a line so type in L from center to the end there and so you can see this kind of all fills in with this color that means it is
completely closed and we can revolve it or extrude it or whatever. So now we're gonna just go create, revolve. I'm gonna choose this, this, and this. I'm gonna select axis. I'm gonna choose our center line. And now I'm just gonna say, okay. Looks good. So let's go ahead and add our fillets. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. That's a 16.016, enter. And you can press F on your keyboard for fillet. Choose right there, that's a .250, enter. F again, .1, enter. F again, .3, enter. F again. 0.075, enter, F again, 0.05, enter, F again, it's going to be a 10 thou, 0.01, just on the bottom side. So press enter, and now we have those 15 thousandths chamfer. So we'll come up here to modify, select chamfer, pick right here, right here, right there, right there, 0 0.015, enter, and we look good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our cuts to our crown. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to Construct. I'm gonna say Offset Plane. I'm gonna click the bottom, and I'm going to say minus 3.1, enter. So now we have this plane up here we can draw on. So now we'll go to Sketch, Circle, Center Diameter Circle. I'm gonna choose that plane and I'm just gonna drop this circle right here. And that's a 0 0.3750, enter, enter. And I'm gonna do a line. So what, what I think I'll do is I'll just go ahead and come up to sketch, line. I'm gonna choose right in the center and I'm gonna drag this out and click. Um, I, I wanna make sure that this circle is on center. So I'm gonna click and hold and I'm just gonna snap it to that line. So now I know it's on center of our part. I'm gonna press D for dimension. I'm gonna choose the center of our part and the center of our circle. And I can see that is 0 0.660, enter. So now we're gonna right click, press pull, and I'm gonna choose both halves of that circle. I'm gonna say 0.5, I wanna make sure it's cutting and then just say okay. So what that did is that made that cut right there. So the next thing we're gonna do is go up to modify, fillet, and I can see we have a 25 thousandths fillet right here and right here, 0 0.025. Enter, and that looks good. So now we're gonna revolve this cut and the corner fillets. So I'm gonna go up to Create, Pattern, Circular Pattern. I'm gonna make sure it is on Features. And I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose the cut and the fillets. I'll come over here to Axis, and I'm just gonna choose the circle. And we need to say eight times. And that looks good. Now we need to add the chamfers on the top so we can go up to Modify chamfer. We'll just choose that edge there and go 0 0.01, enter, and now we've got our crown is cut and chamfered and it looks great. So the only thing left, I believe, is the flutes down here at the bottom. So the way we do that is I'm just going to go sketch, circle, center diameter circle. I want to do this on, you can do it on your right or your front plane. I'm gonna choose the front plane. So I'm gonna just select right here. And I'm just gonna drop that circle right here. And that's a 0.375. Enter, enter again. I'm gonna press C for circle. 
Click right here, 0.3750, enter, enter again, and now I'm gonna add some dimensions. So I'm gonna press D, I'm gonna go from the center to the center of that circle. I can see that that is a dimension of 510, so 0.510, enter. And I'm going to go from the center to that center, and that is 1.250, enter. I'm going to go from center to center and drag down, that's 0.950, enter. I'm going to go from center to center again, come over to the left, and that's 0.250, enter. And now we're going to connect this with some lines, so I'm going to press L for line. I'm going to go from the center to the center, and I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to press L again, and I'm going to click and hold on the side here. And you can see that little tangent mark, and I'm still holding the mouse. So now I can kind of move it around, and it stays tangent to my circle. I'm going to come over to this other circle, and I'm going to look for that tangent symbol, and I'm going to let go. It's perfect. So now we'll go to Sketch and say extend. I want to extend this center line here because that will be our revolve. We're going to revolve this, this, and this around that center axis and that will cut into our part. So now we just want to go create, revolve. I'm going to choose that, that, oh, that, and that. And you saw there for a second it was either doing join or a new body, and you want to make sure it says cut. And so now it'll cut that out. Then we just say OK, and there we go. So let's revolve this. We'll go to Create, Pattern, Circular Pattern. I'm going to make sure that's on Features, and then I'll come down here to the bottom and click our Revolve. You can see it's selected. I'll select Axis and I'll just click my circle or around part of my body there. And we'll say eight times, enter. And that looks pretty good, everybody. So that was the Queen 12 from our chess series.